Namaskar, I am Dr. Amita Mahajan. I am Senior Consultant Pediatric Hematology and Oncology at Indiprast Apollo Hospitals, Delhi. Today, we will be talking about Iron Deficiency Anemia. Iron Deficiency Anemia is one of the commonest health conditions that we suffer in our country. Anemia, as you all know, refers to a low hemoglobin. And the commonest reason for low hemoglobin in our country is iron deficiency. Anemia is refers to low hemoglobin and the commonest reason for low hemoglobin in our country is poor nutrition. Iron is a very fundamental ingredient that we need for remaining in good health. When iron is low, not only does it affect hemoglobin, it has many, many ill effects in our body. A newborn baby takes milk, but about 5 to 6 months of age, it exhausts the iron stores that it was born with. Unless he has a diet rich in iron or iron is supplemented and as a medicine, the baby will go on to develop iron deficiency. A large number of babies, in fact, up to 60% of children under 5 in our country continue to be suffering from iron deficiency anemia regardless of their socio-economic status and this as a pediatrician and as a hematologist is a very worrying situation for us. Many young women, in fact many men, because of a largely vegetarian diet in our country also suffer from iron deficiency anemia. I already mentioned that up to 60% of children under the age of 5 years in our country are anemic and this is despite the multiple supplementary iron programs from, with, from our government. So we all need to work harder at ensuring a balanced diet to our children and to make sure that they are taking the supplements that have been advised by them. Iron deficiency anemia will usually manifest as pallor, lethargy, easy fatigability, irritability in small children all due to low hemoglobin. But iron is a very important element for many many bodily functions. So it actually affects many functions of our body. For example, babies who are severely iron deficient can have neurocognitive impairment. So their attention span is reduced, they are more irritable and their neurological development may not be optimal. Most of these features may be reversed after giving adequate iron replacement but not completely. Therefore, it is very important that we both work on preventing iron deficiency anemia and also for those who have it, they receive adequate treatment for it. It can also have other ill effects such as tendency to have recurrent infections, poor absorption from the gastrointestinal tract. So it is an element that really whose deficiency impacts our overall health and it is therefore extremely vital that we work towards preventing and treating it adequately. The iron deficiency has multiple consequences on the body. The low hemoglobin itself will lead to tiredness, fatigability, lethargy, irritability. But in addition, as I already discussed, it can impact on neurological development and attention span and this is extremely important. It can also lower your general immunity and the efficiency of GI tract in absorption. It's very important to prevent iron deficiency anemia and to begin with, we must ensure that pregnant ladies themselves have adequate iron stores. So they actually need iron replacement or supplement throughout their pregnancy so that the babies who are born are born with adequate iron stores. These stores will help them till about 5 to 6 months of age. But beyond that, 
their diet needs to gradually be richer and richer in iron because this is the period of maximum growth and maximum iron requirement in the body. To do this which you know giving, giving adequate iron for them may not be feasible. So, it is recommended that babies 6 months to 5 years get actually some form of supplementary iron till they start eating an iron which is balanced with a diet which is adequately iron rich. Our iron rich diet really comes from uh, largely from non vegetarian food, but in India we are mostly vegetarian. So, it is important that we consume more of pulses, green leafy vegetables. We also, uh, you know, some lentils have rich are rich in iron. Cooking in iron utensils helps, but you know, as all of this, despite all of this, still iron deficiency may happen. So, it is important that the you know hemoglobin should be monitored, and if there is iron deficiency, children or adults they they get iron supplements in addition to that. We largely treat iron deficiency anemia by oral iron supplements. There are inexpensive oral iron preparations. In fact, most preparations are almost equally effective. Oral iron supplements do can, can cause sometimes constipation or diarrhea or a little bit of nausea and may need getting used to them. But it is my request that please persist with it, do not give up on it because it is extremely important to get this iron into a uh, iron deficient baby or an adult or a teenager because the ill effects of iron deficiency anemia are so, so, so many. If somebody is genuinely not able to take iron, they must discuss with their doctor and maybe alternative preparations can be prescribed. There is intravenous iron available, but we hardly ever need to use it because if we take a diet rich in iron and we combine it with oral iron supplements, we are usually able to treat it very effectively. Today we talked about iron deficiency anemia, how important it is to look out for it, how to prevent it and how to treat it. It is my request that please you know look at your hemoglobin, if you are feeling any symptoms of anemia get yourself checked. At the end of the day it is very important that we stay healthy, stay safe and stay informed. Namaskar.